Okay, I got a good one here. Dear Matsons, how do I protect my kids from school bullies? Sincerely, Mama and Papa Bear. That's right, Mama and Papa Bear. You want to protect your kids from the bullies. And yet uh, the reality is, is our greatest defense against bullies is building up our child's confidence and sense of identity. So start with what you're doing with your child at home, affirming who they are, reminding them that nobody gets to decide their value and worth outside of God. And we're, as parents, a part of affirming that, that uh, your child is worthy and valuable and loved, and that anybody who says anything about them apart from what God says doesn't uh, count. So we're just doing a lot of that in day in, day out with our kids. We're also talking about who they are, helping them understand um, their contributions to the family, their talents, the things that we love and we delight in them, especially within our family systems. This is a way of helping them to recognize the voice of grace, the voice of God, and to remind them that they've got a whole team of people cheering them on. So when that bully comes, they're going to have a, girl, a strong defense and be able to recognize the difference. Yeah, and we really can't control uh, the bullies in the world. They, they come when they come. Uh, one thing that's really important to help uh, our kids remember as we remember it as well is, is, is that hurting people hurt people. Mm -hmm. And so bullies are just something happened in their lives that, that got them um, that hurt them. And then they're perpetuating hurt to others. It doesn't validate the behavior. Mm -hmm. You can be very strong about what they're doing is wrong. But at the same time, compassion, and I think uh, Christ calls us to have a compassionate view as to, um, as to what might be going on in their story and uh, that they're hurting as well. Giving that uh, frame to our kids helps them have compassion for those that are even hurting them. Mm -hmm. Again, not validating what's uh, the behavior uh, in any way if it's wrong. I mean, bullying is wrong. And, uh, and yeah. being strong and standing up and doing the right things about those pieces are important. But at the same time, having compassion and understanding that that bully is just a hurting person. Yeah. So we're doing the both and of building up our child's confidence. We want to do role play with our kids uh, to be able to help them understand what it looks like in real life. And you can do this with a kindergartner. You can do this with a seventh grader. You can even do this with your high schoolers. You're mm -hmm. working through life and the different kinds of bullies. And bullies come in lots of different shapes and sizes. Sometimes they're teachers. Um, a lot of times they're peers. But when it happens, we want to be able to have a practice with our kids. So we do role play. You can use movies even um, and shows pausing something and going, did you see what just happened? Yeah. That was a bully. Look what they just did. They spoke up. But that practice and role play, I do this a lot with our daughters, and I know you do too, uh, Jeff, but it Bullying maybe isn't overt bullying, but it's the mean girl syndrome. Mm. You know, those snarky comments, those teardowns, the, the girls who are jealous and who are, you know, trying to make you look dumb in front of others. That could be a lot of our, our story within our girls. And so we're practicing, you know, how do you still respect them, but stand up? Because you're taking the power away from a bully. When a bully's not getting the reaction from you um, and you're not crying or getting angry or overly um, impacted, takes the power out and a bully is going to move on. So we're practicing that with our daughters, giving them language. Um, and so some of the language might be as simple as, you know what, I'm not for speaking. You don't speak to me like that and then walk away. Or sorry, you feel that way and you walk away. Uh, but there's not a lot of a reaction. So we're trying to keep that calm. And then we're asking our kids to go practice talking to a safe adult. Get the teacher involved. Come talk to us. Maybe even grab a buddy system and grab a friend that's a safe friend. Mm -hmm. talk, to, talk a little bit about red light, green light, um, yellow light. Okay, let's do that. This is a framework. Uh, we've talked about it in other Dear Matson's um, videos, but this is actually a great time to talk about that and remind you for those who haven't listened before. Red light, green light, yellow light is a frame of reference for children to learn who is safe in their world and how do we deal with different types of relationships. We're not labeling people, but we're describing kind of the behaviors that happen between relationships. That's right. So a uh, green light friend mm -hmm. or person is someone who you have safe relationship with. You're going to have bad days. Yeah. You know, you might get snarky with each other if you're grumpy but you ask forgiveness, you talk about things, and you really work hard to stay as a kind and safe friend. Mm -hmm. The yellow light people, those are the people we're more cautious with. So when you think of a traffic light, mm -hmm. you're gonna slow down when you go through a yellow. Mm -hmm. The same is with yellow light friends. 
These are the friends or sometimes the, the bullies who are in a rough season of life and they're trying to pick on us and some days they're our friend and the next day they're picking on us. The yellow light friends are the ones who are confusing. Mm -hmm. uh, they're not consistent. And maybe they do things to hurt us and they go, I'm sorry, but they don't really mean it. And there's not a lot of change in behavior. And then finally, the red, red light friend. Do you want to talk about the red light friend? Yeah, they're not really friends. <laughs> they're the ones that, uh, that actually would be more the regular bully type scenarios there. They, there's no trust. They, um, they're not people that you want to invest uh, heart and relationship and trust with because they, they, they don't handle that. In fact, they, um, they're, that's where we need to coach our kids essentially mm -hmm. to have healthy boundaries and to realize that love does have limits. Uh, and you don't want to give your best to those that are going to trash it. So uh, we we need to that frame that framework yeah. red, uh, red red light. red yellow green uh, is is helpful for helping kids to understand what kind of person am I dealing with that's doing yeah. this in the conversations that you're using as a parent to explore with them and how to respond and what that looks like. You know, we have to be active and engaged with our kids in these conversations. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's amazing when a kid, when your child would come to you, no matter what their age might be, um, and you could tell that something's changed in them and you, the, you can talk with them. Like I've noticed uh, you, after school at this time, every time that you're, something's happened uh, and changing, what's going on? And mm -hmm. if you can open that door, your child to be able to share with you, you can also ask them a really important question. Is this a, a relationship? Is this a situation where you need some help, where you mm -hmm. need some extra help? And, uh, and many kids, as they're tuning towards them and uh, thinking about that, they can then brainstorm together what that kind of help looks like. And uh, sometimes that means adults need to talk to adults about what's going on. Yeah. And because uh, a, a child just can't even comprehend what, what to do next. So uh, your relationship is so important uh, um, to these moments that, that'll happen. And we can't predict when bullies yeah. are going to show up, right? So, but what we can do is set the foundation and, uh, of talking and connecting and staying attuned to what, there's, what, what their days are like mm -hmm. on the good days and on the, on, the high, on the highs and the lows and all the in-betweens, right? So that we're ready for situations like this. Well, and make sure that if you have a daughter that you do check out our Helping Moms Raise Confident Daughters courses, because we actually are talking about all the foundational pieces that we're throwing out to you today at a slow and steady pace over time with these conversations between moms and daughters. Um, and if you have a son, hopefully this is a resource for you. And there's other guides and courses um, through Christian Parenting, but go to cpguides.org to learn more about these courses. And really helping our kids with bullies, it's kind of a, a part of life, mm -hmm. but recognizing that they don't have to be a victim, that they can actually be a part of helping shift the current, not only for themselves, but also for that bully. And uh, there's a lot of opportunities to grow in connection with our kids as we help them find their voice, their sense of confidence, and their ability to discern healthy relationships through red light, green light, and yellow light. Uh, relationships. So remember, you're the right parent for the job and we're here cheering you on.